Hello, hi, how are you today? Hey, um, in this video, I thought I would let you know a little bit about what I mean when I'm talking about the new template. Now, you might hear a lot of words for this, like the new light body. I personally call it the twin flame body. Also, the template of 5D relationship, your new template of relationship. The bottom line is it is brand new. It's what you're here for. It's actually what you're both here for because twin flame couples have to glue this together. What is the glue? The glue is the alchemy of the love which merges it together so that it is operational. But let's get some basic information about this because as you are a twin flame and you became aware of this, you sort of had an awakening, you might be aware that there's a lot more than meets the eye on this. And there there's a lot more that maybe some people aren't even telling you or talking about out there. Hello in Twin Flame Landia. So what are people talking about about the new template? So this is sometimes called your new blueprint. Now it's still about love first and foremost because love is what you'll feel. Love is what glues it. Love is what alchemizes. Increased love is what you'll feel. That love heals you. So in many ways the integration of your template is twofold. It matches to the parts of you that are on the inside. So this is a part of your inner etheric body and it has to match to a part of you that's above you and it has to be lovingly held just a little bit outside the surface of your body. Now when we talk about that part, some people call that your aura or your light body or you know, your glow or your energy or your energy bodies or with little kids, I like to call it their force field. But that is uh, that is a relatively smaller part of you. And yet it's the one that is your day in and day out use of your brand new template. Now, here's another kicker for you. Not everyone's at the same speed. Not everyone's at the same vibrational level. Oh my God, how could that be? Well, to put it mildly, some people, this is, they haven't really been here a lot. And you hear the term like old souls and new souls. This only pertains to the levels of experiences people have had in certain vibrations. Some people have had more experiences in a lower vibration. Some people have raised their vibration, so they're having more experiences. And so they seem like an older, wiser soul and others can seem newer. However, everyone is here for the same opportunity. Having that opportunity to do this integration, because like I say, it's twofold. It's the inner matching to the upper. When the inner becomes like the outer and the outer is like the upper, then you really have something going. So the first thing I want to talk to you about with the new template is love. A lot of people, believe it or not, even though they would like love in their life, have never really felt the depth of what that love is supposed to feel like. They have sometimes felt something or they're aware that maybe there's only one or two people in the entire planet who unconditionally love them. And when one of those persons dies, they're down to one person. Some people cannot feel self-love. And self-love is different than self-esteem. It goes hand in hand with self-esteem. Self-love helps you feel your self-esteem, your worth, your honor, your esteemable qualities. But that in and of itself doesn't always help you feel love. That gets you respect, that gets you maybe kudos on the job, but it is not something that is the same as feeling love, nor is it feeling 5D love. Now, when people have an initial awakening experience, it feels like the love jumps to them, enlivens them, it's exciting, it's new, and people go searching and searching for it, hence the running and chasing. But that's all coming to an end by now because that's really old mammal behavior. What people don't know is how do they get the sustainable level of love? How do they get it in? How do they continually feel it? How do they recreate it without having to run chase or do something stupid? There's a lot of people who get themselves in trouble on this love journey and you don't have to because love is truly what you're here for. But the integration of your template is what holds it to you. It's what alchemizes the things for the other parts of your life, such as health. You want to be able to get rid of that stuff. Mostly, you don't want it to drag you down and pull you down. 
We're not going backwards. We are moving forward. We are moving up and out of those old levels. There's no going back. We passed the point of no return. So the next thing is not just good health, but how are you going to be an ascended person living in love, living together, unified with each other, and living in a lower vibe while you are connected above, okay? It's kind of like this. It's like that part of you that you're integrating then lifts you and begins to tote you and move you along, do things for you, open the doors for you, keep you healthy, give you the intuitions, give you the messages, give you that really quick, fast lover's intuition that you need to do this and that you need to feel it. And it feels good. This is not something that is a chore. It shouldn't be viewed as a chore. I've had numerous people write me when they, I'm not sure if they're doing the work or not, but they say, I can't do this journey anymore. Well, I'm going to say to you, maybe you're not doing things the way that I have outlined it because people have success they do feel when they're doing it according to my modality. You don't have to do it my way, but I know that my way is getting results. And I have a long term of experience with this where it's sort of polished and tweaked and it's very efficient for you. So there is a gradual phase in while you are proactive. In other words, if you do not lift a finger, it doesn't gradually get phased in. You'll keep purging because you'll kind of be dragged along and you might feel like you're just being dragged along behind someone's old pickup truck, but it doesn't have to be that way. It is intended to be a smooth phase in and phase out and gradual swapping out of all your old stuff while you integrate your brand new template or blueprint, aura, energy bodies, all of the complement of your five major subtle bodies. You are part of a five body system. The template is part of a five body system. I outline this in my books, in my webinars, in my tutorials, and each part has to work together. It's like saying you have lungs, you have a heart, but if they don't interact and work in harmony with each other, you don't really have good or proper function, much less up-leveled function. Your new template gives you the up-leveled function with the harmony of your five major subtle bodies. And it's critical. It's critical for your personal success, but your personal health, your well-being, your emotional well-being, your psyche's well-being, all of the parts of you that have to be loved, okay? There's a lot of parts of you and you you're it's it's beyond saying you deserve love. You are love. That's where you come from. You had a lot of adventures. You maybe fell down. You got knocked down. You had traumas. There were cataclysms in the place where you lived. Okay, but you're coming back up now. Back up because you're supported from above. So getting connected from above is what's important. Also, your brand new template does not hold or accumulate the past. Does it mean it's never accessible to you. No. If you learn that lesson, it means you don't have to repeat it because that's going to incur karma. What it means is that it's archived in your personal Akashic records and many times all of the repetitive lessons we've all had are archived in the universal Akashic records. Now, you can tap into that yourself, believe it or not, with your own new template. If there's things you need to know, it can come through in a flash through lover's intuition. If there's something you are sick with, you may intuit certain things. If not, I am an intuit, I am a medical intuitive and I can help you with that. Narrow down the guidance so that you get better, you feel better, you do better, you live better, and you love better. Okay? You can't heal the stuff down at the level that that crap happened. It has to be on the up and up and you have to be able to open, open and integrate and expand your brand new template, which is the complement of your five subtle bodies. Okay. It also holds love. 
Now, this is something people don't think about. And I've had people, when they've done the work for a certain point, they've actually contacted me and say, Patricia, I, I have this in love feeling, but what's going on? There's nobody near me. Like, what really? And I'm like, there it is. You're doing it. You did that. You're being who you are. You are being the love. You're feeling it. You're exuding it by doing this work. That's how it feels. It's like a constant in love feeling hovering right over your chest, protecting your heart, protecting your emotions, protecting and deflecting all the things that you don't want and letting in the things that you do, which is love, which is good situations, which is doors opening for you, new opportunities, new friendships, and love. And I mean, and I do mean romantic love. Don't let anyone kid you because when you really start to feel that, you're going to be like, woohoo. You're going to be going around on cloud nine, as they say, and you won't get dropped. You didn't come here to be dropped on your butt, did you? No, I didn't think so. So it holds love. It is an in love feeling over your chest at all times. Do you want to learn how to do this? This is what I'm here to teach people. And I am a twin flame healer, teacher, guide to the 5D, and I'm a people person. So I care very much about empowering people so that they can get to feeling this. They learn how to do it and you, you don't become codependent. You get rid of your codependencies. You have self-empowerment and love in your life because whether or not that person is with you, the love that comes above, from above that is the unconditional love. Look, we're all human. We're all going to be imperfect at some time, make a mistake, step on toes, say the wrong thing. But what comes down and through you, that's the perfection. That is the perfection that exists inside you and is here for you to exude, feel, and experience, and do it together. So if you want to and you want to learn please join my four-part webinar starting June 25th. We are going to cover ascension, stuff about twin flames, your channels, opening your channels. This includes your marma points, the template with diagrams, the proper ways to do it. It includes an activation. So even if you've awakened, you probably are due for another activation. And I'm a Blu-ray prototyper. Question and answer session. Sensible, intuitive 5D guidance. Proper use of essences. And guess what else? This is not letting up. You're going to keep doing your ascension. Ascension is a given. In fact, the entire planet is going through it. Why not get on board? Why not feel what this is supposed to feel like? Don't be foolish about your own journey and prepping you for the next intensity, which is the Lionsgate coming up in August. We're gonna get you through everything so that you're ready because that will be a time for you to up level. That is a very natural time to sort of integrate and be prepared for what's gonna happen. Even that time is preparatory for the season change. And there are real things that are going to happen in the latter part of this year. Really good things. There are good things on the horizon. And I mean real practical things like for your physical life, like that job you need, that car you needed to get, the breakthroughs you need to have, the housing. It's not going to rely on, you know, major changes in legislation. It's going to be what does your soul need you to gear up for? Where does Where is your safety zone? Where is your sweet spot? How do you need to live? That is what it is predicated on, not all the other stuff. So come and learn about Twin Flame Ascension, your new template. Uh, as a companion to this, you may also like to check out my book, Grid Work and Your New Life. There's a lot of information in here on uh, what it takes to really set up your new life, how to do it, how to plug in, unplug, how to take your essence and your energies out of old places like a school or something. Maybe you're going to graduate. You need to unplug. You've been there for four years. Now you're on to your next thing. This book will explain it. And it's, again, easy instructions, things to do and follow, very actionable steps. So please like and subscribe to my videos. Please share it with someone. If there's someone you think needs to know about this, um, there's a lot of confusion out there. I'm here to take the mystery out of it. I'm here to take the pain away and to make this fun and enjoyable 
and loving for you. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye now.